Mallory Darby. Welcome to my channel. If it's not your first time watching, welcome back. I'm excited, but I'm also nervous. Obviously, by the title and the thumbnail, I'm trying something different with my hair today. Um, You guys know I went short last year, and then I went blonde, and I've been loving it, but I want options sometimes. I'm not going to grow out and get braids. I don't have time, but sometimes... I don't always have it slicked and laid down and waved or I need a haircut or I need a color and those kind of things. And I need a quick on the go option. So we're going to be trying out a wig today. Y'all know I used to love a wig. I have not worn wigs in over a year now. So this is going to be exciting. But it's also very different because I've never had a blonde wig. Um, somewhere around the Panini Press I bought a bang wig. The pandemic. Um, I brought a bang wig because we couldn't go get our hair done and I needed to still be able to film and go places when I did go places. So I have had a bang, but it was very much giving set it off. I was definitely ready to rob a bank. So it kind of shied me away from it. Um, but I have this wig today from my stylist who does my short hair, Hair by Latisse. She also sells wigs, makes custom wigs. And I saw a wig on her story and I was like, hmm. I feel like I want to try that. It's a bob. It's blonde. Ooh, it's so blonde. Um, so I'll be honest, I'm very nervous because it's just a very different wig. I've only been blonde in this aesthetic. Um, so I don't really know what to expect. But if you guys are familiar with wigs at all, you know a bang is a really good option because turning my flat iron on, which I also have not had to use in forever. Um, there's no lace to blend, there's no closure to worry about. With blonde especially, I don't have time. This is really a beginner friendly, glueless, throw on option when you do a bang bob wig. So that's what we are going for today. Now she's straight out the bag as is. She's toned and colored and everything, but she's definitely going to need a little bit of love. Uh, but I wanted to do all that on camera with y'all. So that's what we're doing today. Um, she's a very short blonde. Again, like she's been toned a little bit to be a little bit more ash. Um, which I love and I trusted getting this for my stylist because at least she's here So if like everything goes left, I can just take it to her and have her style it on my head But let's see. Let's see what it's giving I'm gonna toss it on Warning to you and me It's probably gonna look crazy when I first put it on but we know we got to see the vision. We got to see the vision um, This does come with just so you guys can see three combs inside and a band. I will be mostly relying on the band because I obviously do not have much hair. Typically, I wouldn't even need a wig cap because there's like nothing to see. Um, but because I don't want to have to completely redo my hair, I am going to put a wig cap on just to kind of protect it. And maybe just for comfort. It's giving ball cap method. And we're going to put it on. I'm so nervous. I know it's going to look crazy. And I'll be honest, when I got the blonde done the first time, even on my short hair, I knew, I was like, all right, when they spin you around, okay, it's gonna feel crazy. We're just going to, let's kind of shuffle it around a little bit here. I'm telling myself, I've worn wigs plenty, so I'm I know like it's a process. Um, the bangs are layered a little bit. Let me pull it down so it can really fit my head well. The bangs are layered, so it kind of goes into it. It's a very blunt bob. I think I'm just gonna need to bump the ends a little bit, which I could have done on the mannequin head. I brought my homegirl out. She's been in hiatus, but um, I brought her out because I thought I was gonna use it, but I really feel like I just need to see it on my head. So I'm just going to very quickly just like kind of go around and bump it. Color-wise, I know this looks crazy. Color-wise, I love the color. I knew I would, but let me just try to put a little bit of heat to it. So we can, you know, see a little more realistic of what it's gonna look like. She's starting to grow on me slowly. I don't wanna bump it too much. You know when you used to tell your mom to bump your bang or put rollers? in your hair at night like so you have a little bump and it would end up being like james brown i'm trying to avoid that so that's what we're trying to avoid Okay, besides 
kind of um, maybe having somebody bump the back a little bit more or just playing around with it. I feel like, honestly, I'm gonna bump that side a little bit too much. Here we go, here we go. Now we're about to be first day of school. Um, I think a lot of it too for me, I knew I would have to like get used to blonde, especially like as real hair, but I think because I like the blonde so much, part of me is like, am I Mary J. Blige? Am I Misa? We're like, you forget that Mary J. Blige's hair is not blonde because she just does every hairstyle in blonde. So part of me kind of wants to play like blonde braids, blonde updo, like blonde bob, like just to see how it feels. Um, but really, like I said, it is a super easy, really good if it's your first kind of wig style. Um, these are sold online, you can buy them. I also on my short hair, um, always put her growth oil. So this is on the website too. And I love this edge control and I'm not even like a, I don't spend a lot on edge control usually because I feel like they're all the same, but something about that is like bouncy, but also firm. It's kind of hard to explain, but um, I use both of those products on my short hair. Probably will use oil on this if it ever starts to get too um, like dry. I mean, she's got body. She's definitely not stiff. And I mean, it's a short, super blunt bob, so nothing too crazy, but hmm. I mean, I know I'm gonna have to get used to it. I feel like the first time I wear it, she's gonna have to be like on vacation, to the gay club, like a night out. Like, I'm not gonna toss her on and debut her at Target, but I feel like I'm gonna have to like, you know what I mean? She's like my Sasha Fierce. I feel like I'm gonna have to feel like I'm putting on a persona, like really, you know, bringing out the inner, like Malibu. I'm gonna have to have, you know, like a different vibe. It's gonna have to be a moment. How do we feel? Be honest. It's grown on me that fast. Let me know in the comments what you think about this bob wig, what you think about the color, styling tips, all that kind of stuff. I am curious, like, when I finally wash it, like using the purple shampoo, like I did my regular hair, all that kind of stuff. Um, let me know your thoughts though. I just wanted a backup option in case like, I'm in here looking crazy and my friend is like, get up, we gotta go to brunch. Get up, we gotta go out. Like we got an event to go to and I don't have maybe time or just wanna have a different vibe. So just wanted to start trying options. Um, I will link her website in the comments, I mean the description box below in case you wanna check out her wigs, different colors, different lengths, stuff like that. But yeah. I was very nervous and I feel like that fast I'm already get to it thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you in the next video